Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? It's White Boy Summer, and we're going to celebrate it here at the Report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. White Boy Summer is here, ladies and gentlemen. I guess if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's White Boy Winter. You know, there's this kind of interesting meme that's appeared all over the internet. And uh, it's called White Boy Summer. And it's kind of like um, the kind of thing, what you do is you take an image, you know, maybe say of Michael J. Fox in the 80s or something, you know what I mean? And then doing something uh, where he's having fun or skateboarding or something. And you put the words White Boy Summer above it. And then, you, you know, it may be like a kind of like neon kind of like uh, Nicholas Winding Refn kind of uh, style um, that's a uh, vaporwave kind of style. And then you share that. That's, that's the kind of meme. Now, this is a very interesting and fun kind of meme. Now, obviously, uh, the left has reactivated identity politics. And as before on the report from Tiger Mountain, I think there are two kinds of identity politics um, that uh, are interesting. Uh, um, and that one of them is technically good. So in other words, when you are affirming one's own identity in a positive way, when you're saying there's something good about, say, black pride, there's nothing wrong with black pride, there's nothing wrong with Aborigines being proud or Asian people being proud. But I think white people should be, it's okay for us to be proud of our European heritage and stuff and the achievements of European culture. So that's a positive kind of expression of uh, one's identity. And then what you call the negative side, when you, when you think, say, that you are superior, um, which would be white supremacy or, say, Zionism, where Jewish, Jewish people might be more than proud of being Jews, they think they are superior to everybody else. Or black, black pride can go into that too. You see that appear with Black Lives Matter. So anyway, you see this. There's a, a negative and positive side of, of identity politics. So I think there's nothing wrong with positively affirming one's identity without saying, you know, without saying you're superior to anybody, but just that I'm proud of who I am and my culture and my, my people's background, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that's what White Boy Summer has come to represent. And I think it's a lot of fun and it's a kind of meme floating around the internet. And uh, I recommend you get on it if you're a supporter. I imagine a lot of people here at the Unshackled will be big fans of White Boy Summer or White Boy Winter. Um, of course, it could, be, it could be White Girl Summer. You can change it around, you know, you can muck around with it. You know, you could have, um, maybe you could have like the bombs, you know, hitting um, like Gaza and say, you know, white guy summer, you know, or something like that. I don't know. Um, you could just muck around and have all kinds of fun with these memes. And I think having a sense of humor when you're on the new right is very important. And uh, a lot of this kind of stuff should be taken um, with a pinch of salt and with a good sense of humor. And uh, there it is. It's white boy summer or white boy winter here in the Southern Hemisphere. And we're here to celebrate it. And we do. Thank you for listening.